Hey, CTD97 here with a review, and today is the Clone Wars Boba Fett. Um, I have to say, a pretty remarkable figure. Uh, I really like him, and I wasn't going to get him, but then my mom just like randomly got a lot of figures and was like, hey, can you get... Uh, just pick which ones you want out of these, and then I'll send the other ones back. So, pick them out. And, yep. So, um, this Boba Fett, I'll start out with the packaging as usual. And, like every other uh, figure, in the 2011 Clone Wars Wave comes with a nice uh, background. Um, die. A die. And I think maybe a catalog, like a small open up catalog and a stand. But all you guys already know that, so I really don't need to get it. Uh, all this stuff. So anyway, that's the Boba Fett picture, really nice. Um, here's, the here's the other people in the wave. And he is Clone Wars number uh, 32. And that's just his little thing you can pause it and read it and then and ha he comes with removable armor and uh, each figure has a unique card and, yeah blah 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 and it just tells you how to play the game um, so first I didn't yeah like I said I wasn't gonna get this guy but then I saw a few other reviews and I was like man this this man is pretty good. So let me just adjust it. Um, whoop, you can see his hairline is very, uh, very beautiful. Wish I had his hair. And he comes with a jet back and two blasters and um, armor. And it's easy to take the armor off and um, I like that these are actually removable holsters. Unlike in the Cad Bane um, thing, like, remember how, uh, his was just, like, I don't know how to explain it, but they were just molded to his legs, but on this guy, they're not, and you can remove everything, let me just see if I can for a minute, um, Boba Fett has, uh, was Jango's son, and obviously they're all his sons, but, um, he ordered that Boba aged normally, unlike all the other clones who, uh, aged, I think, five times faster, so, yeah. Yeah, so yeah. Um, I think only his armor can come off. I don't think these can come off. But, um, there are his holsters, and he looks pretty cool. Um, I really am digging the gray, and I'll show you his armor. That's really awesome. And ah, uh, his jetpack can come off of that. And here's what his jetpack looks like. <laughs> so pretty cool. And I like that they didn't add a play feature to make the jetpack like um, shoot something. Because that just aggravates me when they do such things. Um, it's pretty easy to get off of them. I don't know how easy it's going to get back on them. I guess I'm just putting it on wrong. Yeah, I'm going to skip through this part.
So now we're back with his armor on. And um, really, uh, his, um, I don't know, just everything about him is pretty great. His articulation just blew me away, though. He has swivel wrists, ball-hinged uh, shoulders, ball-hinged elbows, ball-jointed neck, swivel waist, ball-hinged legs up at the top, ball-hinged knees, and... Gee, I don't know about his ankles. Yep, well hinged ankles. So, this guy does pack a punch. I suggest getting him for your collection. Um, a very notable figure. Um, very good. So, get it. Uh, may the force be with you.